What is going on guys and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Today we are starting our My Player Career Mode series. We're going to be taking Bobby Adams through his career. He starts at 71 overall, 18 years of age. This guy is a Canadian and uh, he is going to be playing for a Canadian side, the Toronto in the MLS, of course, and we are going to be playing at Cam. Now, he is actually a right midfielder when I created him, but he's been registered at, as a Cam at the minute. He has played out on the right-hand side, so I'm not sure if this Cam thing here is maybe a glitch, but he was started out on the right-hand side, currently with 80 pace, 71 dribbling as his best stats, 68 passing, 61 shooting, 61 physical, and just 44 defending. We do have three growth points that we can spend. We're going to be doing that in today's episode as well. And then we're going to be playing our first ever game. Hopefully, we are currently down as a sub, but hopefully playing our first game against Montreal in a Canadian derby. The second game of the season is another Canadian derby against Vancouver. So two teams, uh, two derby games to start the season should be interesting. Hopefully, we get some minutes on the pitch. But first, let's go ahead and spend our growth points and have a look at the new growth system here in FIFA this year. So we have our attributes here. We also have the profile over on the right-hand side, midfielder. Attacking midfielder does say Cam there, 5'9", 152 pounds, right-footed. Uh, we do have archetypes this season, although we don't currently have one at the moment. And there is also perks. We can unlock three perks, uh, one at level 9 and one at level 19. And uh, we currently have assist streak, which gives us better passing um, once we get an assist. The 15 minutes after we get an assist, we get better passing traits, gets boost on them. Let's have a look at the overall actual skill trees. This is all new this year as well. We haven't done a player career mode uh, for a while, but this is all brand new. And um, in other games, very similar systems. We've just implemented one here where you can... Increase your passing, your dribbling, your defending, your physical, your shooting, your pace, goalkeeping, everything. And um, all these you spend points on that you can earn via training and matches. And then once you build up enough points, you can upgrade them. And that actually increases your attributes on the pitch and the way your player plays. So it's a lot better for career mode because you're going to be able to mold your player the way you want. And uh, we've already started doing that a little bit with the um, initial ones that we got. And... Um, we currently have ball control and dribbling, and we also have agility, which is uh, minus three for some reason at the moment, but that will go up once we get better form. Um, and we also have a couple on the passing, and we also have pace as well to uh, boost our pace stats, which is why we have such good pace. So we do have three skill points at the moment to spend, and I'm going to go ahead and I think spend them, I think because we're playing at cam, I think I'm going to put one into shooting, giving us slight increase on the uh, long shot stat I'll put it in here I'm still going to need another one to actually fully upgrade that and be able to unlock the next group we still have one more skill point to spend actually so we'll stick that back in there and that will then complete the dribbling upgrades which is uh, nice so that's the uh, growth points that we've got to spend we're currently level 2 as well moving towards level 3 on the XP in the top right hand corner and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do some training and see what that's all about. Okay, so you get three different sessions. We're going to go with the path to goal, dribble shot, and angle gates. Very similar. You can play the drills or you can simulate them. Um, very similar to career mode. Uh, you get the best grade. So you have to play them first to get the grade and then you can simulate them after. So we're going to go ahead and play these. Uh, so I don't know how much of this training sequence I'm going to keep in. And definitely in future videos, there'll be a lot less of the training once we get into more games. But that's nice. We'll go through and score left foot as well. So ball control dribbling here seems pretty tight. His finishing is actually really nice. He scored both of his chances. He's got a defender to try and beat this time. See if we can hold this defender off. Turn of pace gets around him. Okay, nice. And we'll finish on the right foot. Three for three on the finishing. His finishing has also been decent. Oh, that's not bad in this session so far. That one's right in the top bins on his left foot. This one's got to go high as well. Didn't quite get the elevation on the finish. Last attempt. We've got to score this low driven. We'll get it. And we'll get a B grade for this one. 
again passed it the wrong way absolutely brilliant let's concentrate there we go through this one Pezuelo is actually one of the better players in the team I think he's the guy who's playing cam so if I'm trying to get the cam spot this is the guy who's currently 80 rated by the way and I'm trying to get out of the team probably going to get more football or right mid which is better for us because that's where we're set up to play Pezuelo they're not actually going for that ball hello wake up boys Pizuelo, the ball's gone, mate. Get another one. There we go. Machine's finally switched on. Adams is now stood still. What? Okay, we've got a beat. Brilliant. Decided not to do any more training sessions before this first game. And I don't want to get the overall rating up too high. 72 rating at 18 is already pretty decent. The good thing about playing for Toronto and in the MLS is the fact that they play a different calendar year they play and they start in april which means they play through the summer transfer window which means most of the season we could be taking a move away at any point so if we can have a good start a good start to our career here at toronto impress in the mls it's only going to be a few episodes before we're potentially making a move away which is exciting and i'm hoping that's something that could come to fruition but first we've got to put the performances in we're taking on montreal in this first game will we get selected probably not we're only a sub hopefully the manager's gonna bring us on he will he's gonna give us 11 minutes at the end of this game we're currently one nil down we need to make an impact and we're coming on at right mid we are the away from home we're coming on for Schaffelberg. We do have to get a 7 rating, 50% shot conversion, and take two shots. Okay. Seems legit. We have a throw in. Lawrence has it. It's on the far side. They're immediately looking to switch the ball. I didn't ask for that, but I am going to win the header. Nice. Bobby Adams immediately involved. Here's Pizuelo. Adams. Jose Torde is the striker ahead of us. He's going to get it here, Altore. He's going to find Bobby Bradley. And inside him, we're immediately going to equalise. Impact made just seconds after coming off the bench. We're involved in a move that has given us the equaliser. Pezuelo with the goal. The clock at the top corner is moving pretty slow. I don't think this is... Uh, we're going to get more time on the pitch than I thought we would with how long we have left. Just 10 minutes in-game normally is very quick. I think we're going to get a little bit more time here. And will help us that's a good ball it is going to find us here one on one with our defender at the minute we'll look to beat him attack the space here and we're going to get through using the pace Adams first chance oh puts it wide finishing ability not quite there Pizuelo brings that down nicely on the free kick Bobby Adams has it that's cross field was on we're just going to release it don't hold on to it too long Pizuelo Altidore, nice, gets it wide. Across the box, it's coming, and Miller just nods it away in front of Bobby Adams. Pezuelo has it back for us. Still time on the clock. Adams. Altidore, giving him, giving him, oh, the ball just didn't come through. Adams was in on goal. And we've got to get back and defend. Montreal looking to win this one late on. He goes for a goal, but Bono in the net. Save hands. We've got a minute. We're now going to try and get back up the other end. And maybe nick it. Bradley with a terrible touch, though. And the referee's seen an off. It's a 1 1 draw. A debut. We had an impact off the bench. We should have scored maybe our 1 on 1 chance. It's not a bad game to start at all. Got a 6.7, 12 minutes played. Distance covered 3.5 kilometers. Four passes complete the heat map in 12 minutes to complete that heat map. Shows how much work we put in. 100% passing accuracy as well. For some reason after that performance, which I thought we did pretty well in, the managers now decided that we're actually in a reserve and we're no longer good enough to make the bench. I think maybe we just didn't get the rating and stuff like that. Maybe we didn't achieve the... The things he needs to do on the pitch, which means he's going to have to put some work in on the training pitch and try and get back in the manager's good books. But for now, 
or into the reserves and probably not playing in the next game. So for this episode, that is going to do it. If you're looking forward to this episode, don't forget to leave a like on this one. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well. But that is going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one very soon.